restream though. No, that's fine. And it's also up to restream. You sure? Pretty sure. Open up Chrome. And head on over to our champion buds at restream. Shout out. Shout out to Restream. Shout out IO for being bros and helping bros with their bottles of alcohol. I mean, yeah, we're bros. Basically. Alright. Uh, and I'm gonna say that we are in fact more than likely live at this point. So it says online, online, and that online. means data. Oh. Perfect. So. Like is good. You might want to open the Restream chat app from your start menu. I don't know what to talk about. Yeah. So we're we're good. Make sure you store it like that. The only reason why I didn't get a thousand dollar monitor mm -hmm. is because I didn't have anything to run a thousand dollar monitor. Can't run it off ten sixty. Turf. I'm glad you realized that. <laughs> well I had to watch Chase Two Sensor. Oh you might want to close the browser window to like conserve bandwidth. Hello, everybody else. And Hi. welcome to Two Bros and a Bottle of Wine in our somewhat weekly podcast. We've been consistent. Yes, yes we have. Thomas is back from vacation. I'm back. And, uh... Hey! <laughs> What's up? Anyway. <laughs> All right. Go see Mama. And hello. Oh, wait. A new version of Restream Chat is available. We, uh, we can update that later. No, we're gonna go ahead and do that later. And like I got push notifications to the Twitch dashboard. Ooh, okay. So we got two followers. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing something very special. Um, this is like, a Christmas gift for Andrews. My dad. Andrew's dad. Yes. Got to build him a PC. It's, he says it's getting near it's the end of its lifespan. I think I built it for him five years ago. Well, I think the same year I built mine actually. Oh, what? Wow, mine's like five years old. That's better. That's better. Still keeps up. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good because you play... It's that uh, magical 32 gigs of RAM, you know? Yes. 32 gigs of RAM is phenomenal. Yes. More than... Oh, you have 32 gigs now, too. Yes, it, yes, I do. But I did it for the RGB. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Flexing that... Uh... <laughs> That T. Donero right there. T. Donero. Just like I just did it for the RGB. Yes, I did. Well, it, it I just got an extra 16 gigs of RAM for the RGB. <laughs> the absurdity is uh, a little hilarious. Well, Anyways, what are we drinking Mom tonight? Knows. We're drinking a Headstock IPA. That's uh, from Nickelbrook, a local brewery in Burlington. They're, uh, I think, maybe. Actually, I don't know when they were when they were, when they were established, but. Uh, you know, Andrew and I really like going there. And almost like every week, usually. Every week, yeah. We're, we're always picking up from there. It's very good. Very tasty beers they brew. Very, very nice beer. Actually, today we found out that they had a dark. What was it? Dark lager? No, it wasn't a lager. It was a stout. Oh, stout, yes. And it was 14%. <laughs> 14 and you could not buy it by the growler, unfortunately. Yes. Um, as we found out. Yes. 14%. 14 point something. And yeah. I was like, okay, what what does that star mean? And then I mean, this ain't mean. worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. What I mean, saying. maybe, but the problem with stout is that it's a uh, very thick. Is it like one of those like that really like? It's like a Guinness. Guinness mm. is considered a stout, right? I'm out. I'm out. So I can't do it. Just imagine like you're having to chomp and chew your way through like your beer. Yeah, that's tough. That's right? a that's a hard one. I've I've tried Guinness a few times. It's just something I can't. It's not for my palate. No, I can't. Yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, I just think... It, it well, I do IPAs. No problem, right? IPAs right. are amazing. Right? I love it. I I'm love not like it. a Coors Light kind of guy, but... God, no. Oh, my God. Yo, if anyone drinks Coors Light out there, we're we're out here. We want uh, we want to help change you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, come over to Canada. We'll see. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll get you some, some of this IPA. Take the stream out for some beer. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. We'll, we'll live stream from Nickelbrook. By the we'll way. Like, the brewery? Huh? We'll invade the brewery. Hell we'll yeah. do it, yeah. Flash mob. <laughs> so, why don't we go over what we've got uh, in front of us here. For sure, for sure. Let me, you know what? Let me just get this camera camera ha, chair out of the way so I don't trip all over it. For sure, it. for sure. I agree. I oh, agree. You're a heavy chair, man. Yes, yes. So, so obviously, 
Every good computer system starts with a case, right? It is magic. It's got a tempered glass side window. Should look fantastic with everything inside of it. And to go with the case, obviously on Thomas's side is the Gigabyte motherboard. Yes. Some micro eight mini, I think it's a mini ATX. It's only got uh, three PCI slots, two RAM slots. Uh, but it's an AM3, might be, actually no, sorry, it's an AM4 compatible board. That's right, we're on the AM4 socket these days. Mm, I know what that means. Uh, this is a AM4. socket type for the processor. Oh, yeah. okay, very nice, very nice. So this is what this looks like, yes. I'm excited because I've never seen these things in like actual cases. I mean, and you wow. get to do like an unboxing uh, put together. It's quite fun. That's right. That's right. That's then next up, we have 16 gigabytes of the Corsair Vengeance uh, DDR4 memory. Hey. I believe that's at 3200 megahertz. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not OC territory, but it should do uh, overclocked. Oh, it's not okay. overclocked RAM territory. It's very high end for the DDR4, but... It's recommended to have a higher megahertz for in integrated graphics as uh, your onboard RAM acts as your graphics card memory in this case. Mm, okay, 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 okay. What else do we have here? What else do we have here? We have our power supply. This uh, power supply, right? Very nice Corsair power supply. It's pretty basic. I believe it is, in fact, a 550 watt. That is correct. I just saw it on screen. Yes, and it is a modular power supply, so we don't have to plug in the cables that we actually need for it to keep the inside of the computer pretty neat looking. Yes, I agree. I, I, I didn't hold that one up because it was really heavy. So it that's awesome. Like, okay, I didn't know. I have to learn about curls that. with that, right? Yeah, like actually, I have to learn about that because I, I find it interesting that you say you only have to put it in what you need. So that's implying that the other, like there's different models.